What up, Chris? How's it going, man? What's going on? What's going on, Jimmy? Thanks for having me on, man. Appreciate thank it. You so, thank you so much. Before we even dive in into this interview, uh, I just want to let people know we're going to be talking about your story. It's been um, it's been a motivational story for me, inspiring for me. Um, I've known you since high school, but to see you kind of go from corporate America, if you will, to now be doing your own thing. Um, just want to dive in. There's a lot of people who are excited about starting their business. Um, how do you start a business while working? So I'm excited. Thank you so much. Really blessed, man. Thank you for that. And you're right. You know, it's, it's getting started is the hard part, but uh, I'm, I'm glad you invited me to talk about that. Talk about you know, my business and, and how it's going on. And, and just, man, thank you so much. I appreciate that, brother. First things first, I already said, what up, Chris? But tell us your name, where are you from, and where do you live? So I'm Chris Gonzalez. I go by C. Joseph because Joseph's my middle name. So my art name's like C. Joseph Art. Um, yeah, man, from Texas, you know, Dallas-Fort Worth area. Originally from Arlington, right? But we say Dallas-Fort Worth because everybody yeah. knows that, right? So right now, currently living in uh, west of Fort Worth, kind of in the Alito-Weatherford area. Yeah, I'm truly blessed. Uh, and uh, looking to build a new house here soon, man. So we'll probably be living out a little bit further west. I'm a city boy, you know? And so now I'm moving closer and closer to the country. So it's, it's kind of crazy, but I, I need some space, you know? So you know what? We're gonna have to do an interview one day about that process because you've told me a little bit about it and that's exciting. So before we get into your past, let me ask you this. How long have you been in business full time? Ooh, business for myself. Well, you know, I've always been on the grind. So like even when I had a job, I had a business on the side. So uh I would say since 04, man. Yeah, 04. So what is that, 18 years, something like that? Yeah, close close to 20 years, bro. What's been your biggest challenge and what made you want to continue? <laughs> You know, the biggest challenge, uh, I think, uh, for me was just um, fear. You know, sometimes, I mean, you you got the job, right? For me, I, was, I always was comfortable with the job, working. I, I'm not scared of work. I can I know how to work, right? Uh, but you're doing making, your own and, thing. And I'm sorry, you were making really good money at your job too, right? Yeah, so staying yeah, your family. Really okay, right. cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, that comfortability that you have with your full-time job while you're trying to start a business, mm -hmm. you, you know, comfortable. When you're comfortable with your job, you know, I think that's like the enemy of progress, right? And so for me, I was always just comfortable. You know, I'm, I'm, I had the side hustle, but I never like wanted to just leap. So that leap to me was like that little doubt, you know, that little fear. What if I don't make it? What if I don't do it right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I always knew I had the talent to go do it, but like, um, you know, and confidence, but there's always that little you know, false evidence of appearing real, right? That fear. And so it just always crept in every now and then before I would take the jump, but I would still kind of do the side hustle and just kind of make money and do that thing until one day it just kind of blew up. Right. And so, um, but I think that's it, you know, how I'm getting started, you know, what it took was just to take that leap of faith, you know, and, uh, and, and go for it. Now I know you're married and I know you have two beautiful children. Um, in any yeah. way, were they your motivation? Were they your fear? Were they your to go or holding you back? What, what would you say? Man, honestly, my family is my motivation. Like I, I do everything for them. My wife, my kids, you know, I want them to have experiences that I never had, right? I'm willing to go out there and work hard and, and do what it takes to, to give them those memories. You know, for me and my family, we like to have experiences and, and, and travel and, and do things that are nice, you know, so and it takes hard work to get to those things. And, you know, Definitely. and I, I want my kids to appreciate hard work, see the results that it gives us. It doesn't go lightly, obviously. Uh, it takes a toll on the body. And yeah, mind. I, bet. So, I bet. I do everything. And they're my motivation. You know, and my Lord and Savior, too. You know, he, he keeps me going. And uh, when times get rough, and you know, I just I just lean on him for faith, guidance. And uh, that's a big thing in our family, too. What did you do sure. before? And what do you do now? From you mentioned that you were doing your grind. So what it explain what that right. grind means and what kind of job that you have. Did they help each other out or were they completely different? Just just give us a little bit of that background. You know, back in the day I was just a bartender. Normal life, you know, working uh nights, spending cash in the daytime, you know, sleeping all through the day, right? I mean, I remember having roommates, you know, some of our friends, right? And I just wake up at two <laughs> two PM. And then go to work and then, you know, stay out till 2 a.m. and just do it all over again, right? So that was that. That was just that monotonous work uh, uh, when you kind of get it out in your own. So as a bartender, I landed a job in corporate America uh, in facility maintenance um, at the, you know, like a five star like resort and convention center that yeah. just opened up in the Grapevine area here in Texas. 
And so that's kind of how I got my start, like to just kind of be in that in that hospitality industry, in that, in that, in that corporate industry, if you will. And so I found my opportunity there to just kind of hustle and, and get to know the right people and and then move my way up the corporate ladder for almost 16 years. So 16 years, I would wow. say at that same time, I was doing my art. Like I was just starting because before I landed that job, I was doing murals on the side and I quit my full-time bartending job, was doing straight murals for people, like just for like beer and, you know, a little bit of money, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just getting, just getting my name out there. Then it landed me, it landed me the corporate job because someone found me. So as I was just working on mural, they, they said, Hey, you know, we're hiring, we may need somebody like you. You know, I, I walk into this establishment, get an interview, land the job. And then 16 years later, which I didn't expect that, right? My goal was like five years max, but you know, it, like I said, I got comfortable and I just climbed the corporate ladder, uh, which was great, making great money, but always had the art going on, nice. right? So always doing art, always, always in the shows, you know, always get my name out there. I, w- I would think for about a five year period, like the last maybe five years uh, before 2019, I was focused in corporate America mm-hmm. a lot. And so I kind of let the art go away a little bit and it ate at my soul, you mm. know, honestly, it ate at my soul, man. Just, I let it go a little bit, but not too much. And then, uh, when COVID happened, right. I, we, you know, everything stopped the hospitality industry, everything. Yeah. And so we all lost our jobs. You know, I didn't know if I was going to get one back. So what did I do? I went back to the arts. I just went back on my grind. The art community just was open arms, you know, locally, you know, outside of the state as well. Uh, it's like I never left. You know, I started doing art again, commissions, uh, murals, all of a sudden murals took off. And then I never looked back. I got hired back on part time status, if you will. You know, I could work from home, right? And then yeah. and still, still do my art. But you had already all tasted, sudden, you had already tasted some freedom. I already tasted yeah. freedom, bro. I already tasted yeah. a little bit of that. Remember that fear I was talking about? Like, I had to jump no matter what. Like, mm-hmm. as I was furloughed, what was it we gonna do? Just sit at home? No. So I, I went back to what I knew, you know, got on my grind, you know, marketed myself a little bit, and then it just took off. Like every single week I had a gig or I had a job or I had a commission. And so then I was like, man, I, I really can do this on my own, you know? And so that's what it took. It just took that moment in my life to be like, you got this, don't look back, just go full-fledged. 2020, I was working both things kind of simultaneously, working from home, doing the office thing. And then at night, you know, going out there doing commissions or murals or whatever I had to do, or even on the weekends. And then eventually what it came down to is when, when I got the job back, like they were wanting to hire me full-time back. And, and I pretty much said I can't uh, because the art just took off, bro. It just, wow. it took off. And so then I, I quit my full-time career, no more having a boss or anything like that. Now I just do art full time. So I would say I've been in business for myself since 04. I haven't been outside of a, a corporate job for more than two years, all on my That's own now. Beautiful. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. You know, I started kind of small. I worked with the residential and then it led to like companies and some brands. And then now I'm like, you know, starting to work with bigger brand names and things like that, that want murals or want art or, you know, designs or whatever. People like, you know, Amazon, uh, Pepsi, uh, Indy 500, uh, Aero McLaren, you know, these are big, big hitters, right? I don't know how it got to wow. that point. It just, it just kind of snowballed from there. Uh, extremely blessed, you know, so that's, that's how I started. I just started residential, started doing walls, uh, you know, locally here in the area. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, people started finding me, you know, either on Facebook or Instagram or, or you know, on my website. Uh, I've been to the Indy, Indy 500 in Indianapolis, was doing a live mural there, which was awesome. It was a great experience. Wow. Uh, and I traveled to Chicago recently. You know, I went out there, brought my family. I was able to bring them because we homeschool kids. And so uh, we brought them out there. We had a little time to ourselves and then they, they left. And then I stayed and, and did the mural, basically. And what happened, what was interesting was that even though the client, you know, paid for me to go there and do all those things, uh, the mural is funny. You know, you have to adapt and change with everything, right? And, and just kind of figure things out. The mural actually wasn't physically painted. I couldn't physically paint it at the time because as the, the wall was chosen, uh, some things happened and we, we had to change real quick. And I had, to, I had to paint it somewhere else. Well, just so happened in Chicago, I couldn't paint it indoors i got on the grind and called people that do like vinyl wraps you know they're in while i'm there in chicago making moves you know (laughs) 
is there some tools that that you use the youtube is it reading a book is it having a mentor G- give us some some of those nuggets that maybe some of us may not be aware of i think reading is, is crucial you know it, it really helps you expand your mind you grow and what you read what you input is what you're going to output you don't have to have a business degree or go study business but there's books out there that talk about business and how to handle yourself in situations with clients and different things like that and honestly if I didn't have that corporate America background and learning from that and other entrepreneurs uh, that were in big business and things like that. Yeah. But since I've been able to talk to people like executives with Amazon or, you know, different clients that, that when you're talking to them, you, you got to know number one, what you're doing, you have to have confidence, have that business acumen enough to like, you know, send the invoices, right. And, and follow up and, and different things like that, that maybe some people just don't have the knowledge to do. Any advice you wanted to give to someone who either is wanting to start the business or start the business? Yeah. I mean, if you want to start your business, man, I just said, go for it. You know, if you have, a, if you have a job that uh, is, you know, it may not even allow you to, to start your business, but you got time during the day. I mean, we all have 24 hours a day, right? So you just start, just start and do something eventually, even if you're not passionate about doing it, but you know, you want to be successful at it. Eventually it will turn into your passion. A lot of people think you have to be passionate about what you do. And I, and I see that a lot in social media is like, oh man, I love what I do. You know, I'm, I'm passionate about it. And honestly, I do love it. It's a passion of mine, but it's a grind. A lot of people out there, you, you see the the pretty the pretty part of it, right? Um, but there's a lot of part on the back team, like I said, the business part, you know, the follow up, the 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 nights on the you know the office uh, uh, background, if you will, and, and sending invoices, following up, and all the all the that work, kind of the stuff. The true work, <laughs> yeah, the true work, exactly. The design work, you know, before the mural, all that kind of stuff. Working with clients, uh, revisions, all those things, you know, and that's just my my niche, but. You know, it, it takes it takes a lot of work. And so am I passionate about that? No. But the results that I get from what I do, that's what I'm passionate about. That's you know, that, that allow me to become, you know, free and travel and have family time and do those things. And, and so that's what I'm after when I go out there and, and do what I need to do, you know, and, and then, have, you know, the blessing, the cherry on top is is seeing people appreciate the art that I'm doing and putting out there, right? Or the content or whatever, right? Yeah. That That's kind of like the cherry on top. That's great. But still, I'm doing it for me. But at the end of the day, if I have that too, oh man, that's cherry on top. Great. You know, clients, please. People are happy. You know, that's great. That's awesome. Um, but that's the one thing I wanted to get out there. I think, I think, you know, if you can get out of your own way and just, you know, go for it and start something, there's a lot of resources and tools out there to get you going, you know? I agree. Um, Time, time management is a big thing too, Jim. Time management. I think a lot of people they they uh, they don't know how to manage their time, you know, uh, properly, and that's something you just gotta learn through experience and and, and uh, you know, I think also developing yourself through books and things like that. But uh, I live and die by my calendar, bro. If I didn't have my calendar, I'd be too crazy. You know, I'm I'm ADD. Man. I'm like I gotta do this project, that project, and so if I have some a little bit of structure, right, um, it helps, man. It really helps. So, man, appreciate it. Well, before we end, where can we follow you, find you, get in touch with you? Well, first of all, man, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for all the Thank questions. You. I really appreciate that. I know you're doing some big things there, too. Um, so, yeah, where to find me is at C Joseph A R T. So, at C Joseph Art is my Instagram handle. Nice. And then my website is cjosephart.com. Uh, so, you can you can look me up there. Um, I'm on Facebook as well. Same, same handle, C Joseph A R T. Some other gigs that are coming up, just real quick, it's possibly a gig in Florida. So that's going to be cool. I can't wait to do something like that, you know, and travel there. Um, You know, and also I'm going to Vegas pretty soon and doing a live meal there. Shout shout out to to Omar, Mr. Vegas, but continue. Ah, Mr. (laughs) Vegas, yes. That's our buddy. Yeah, man, I'm just, I'm truly blessed. Well, we wish you the best for 2022 and beyond, man. Um, Thank you so much for jumping on. And hopefully next time we could do a longer interview because I want to ask you some more detailed questions. But um, thank you so much, man. Seriously, appreciate it. Blessings to you and the family, bro. 